Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates at only one day, guys, one day out of Mr. Olympia. Mr. Olympia is starting tomorrow. Later today we're gonna have the press conference, but today we have the athletes meeting, and it was rather interesting. There are a couple of very interesting things we can see here. And the first thing I wanted to talk about is Andrew Jack, who seems to be you know, dwarfing everybody here, except Samson, except Samson, so those two guys are definitely bigger than everybody else, but the more interesting thing about Andrew Jack here is basically the way his face is looking, and that's how we can determine whether he is in conditioning, whether he's in shape or not, and we can all see the other guys, so for example, Derek Clansford, I don't know man, he kind of looks a little bit uh, smaller, flatter than usual, you're gonna see him in a second, Hari Chopin also looks like his usual self, nothing crazy to see here, size-wise, face-wise, uh, Rafael Brando looks good as well, uh, Hunter Labrada also nothing crazy as usual, uh, John Jewett is bringing something insane, I gotta tell you that much, I'm gonna show it to you in a second, Brandon Curry and Martin Fitzwater are looking uh, as usual, I would say, uh, Akeem Williams is shredded, he's actually peeled, I'm gonna show that to you in a moment, uh, Samson is massive, massive for sure, Bonnick, I think Bonnick is gonna do well as well, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be in the top 10, and here is Derek, so, you know, I would say definitely smaller, flatter than, than usual, you know, I thought his arms would be a lot bigger, a lot thicker from the side, and I would expect like his back to pop out like crazy, and like his chest to back thickness to be insane, but no, no, I mean, he looks very, very underwhelming, in a hoodie, at least, now, when he takes the clothes off, if he's shredded, he's going to look amazing, and he's most likely still going to defend his title, but based on this, I don't know, guys, now, if you go to his Instagram, you will see that he is doubling down, or even tripling down, on the amount of Jesus stories, why is this, is this because he's praying that God is gonna help him and make him look good because he's off right now, or because he's already good and he's just grateful, just joking, just joking, you guys, this is, a, this is for you guys who are saying that I'm speculating a lot, yeah, this is a little bit overboard, I'm just messing with you, uh, here is what he looks like at the athletes meeting, again, I don't know, I'm actually, you know, when I, usually when I see guys in, the, in a backstage and they're looking big and full, in a t-shirt, it usually means they are a little bit off, you know, it usually means they're, 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 they're not super conditioned, and when their shirts are just hanging on them, and they're looking flat and kind of stringy, it usually means they're shredded, and there is no way that Derek, like, lost a bunch of muscle, but this shirt is very tight, so I would expect him to be a little bit more round, a little bit bigger, but it is what it is, I'm pretty sure he's just shredded, and this is probably a really good thing, actually. We'll find out, though, very soon, tomorrow, actually, and I'm really curious to see whether Brandon Curry is gonna bring his usual size and his usual condition. If he does that, he's gonna place probably higher, a lot higher than a lot of people have him. And again, Derek, not the biggest, uh, Samson and Andrew looking super massive, bigger than everybody else, but that's not gonna help that much on stage, you know, when guys like Hadi and Derek, when they open up, when they hit the poses, they can look very wide and really crazy with those, with those wee tapers and everything, so what these guys look like at the athletes meeting in their clothes, it doesn't really matter that much, but it's something that is circling around the social media right now, people are talking about it, so I wanted to share my opinion as well, now, as far as Andrew Jack, I wanted to start this video with him, but I went with uh, Derek Lansford, Back to Andrew Jack, um, I think his, I don't, I don't remember his face really ever looking like this, you know, it seems like he is actually in condition, based on what uh, Chris Cycle Lewis, his, his trainer, is saying, Andrew is 315 pounds right now, now how much does the size really matter at this show, you know, not that much, we saw that previously, like it's not the most important thing, but uh, for him, it's very important that he is big because of his freaking height, and uh, 315, for him, I think that's a sweet spot, basically, I mean, if he is 290 or like 300, that, that's Samson's weight, and Samson is a bit shorter, so I think Andrew at, at 315, that, that's the weight, that's it, I mean, 
it's not like he's gonna gain a whole bunch of muscle in his hamstrings and like uh, his glutes are gonna get super super detailed no no but if he is big and round and actually lean man he can surprise a lot of people like at this point i i wouldn't bet on him not winning the mr olympia or placing inside of the top three like yeah i, I probably don't have him winning but you know it's a possibility it's definitely a possibility because he is freaking insane this guy is so so genetically blessed he is massive and it seems like he's actually bringing conditioning and with the improvements he made in the past off season he should not be underestimated i know a lot of you guys actually think he can win and i, I was very sure that he won't but at this point i do believe it's a possibility i wouldn't put my money on it but i wouldn't put my money on him not winning or placing in the top three so anything is possible really those four guys samson andrew derek and hardy they can all switch places you know it can go either way if you ask me at this point but we'll see tomorrow it's gonna be very exciting to finally see them compared and to see what they're bringing now one guy that people are completely dismissing as far as the like top six conversation it's akim williams and akim williams was sixth at a mr olympia at one point now, of course, we all know that he lost to Rafael Brandau at the Arnold Classic, and Akim was in shape at the Arnold Classic. He was definitely very conditioned. Rafael was very much on as well. He wasn't in his usual condition, but he was bigger and just lean enough. So, if Rafael is in the same shape like he was at the Arnold Classic conditioning-wise, just a little bit bigger, then he's beating Akim Williams, mainly because of Akim's back shots. But... But you should not underestimate Akim because it seems like he is also bringing like crazy level of conditioning at his show. He is shredded. He is big. He has a couple of killer shots. Like his side chest is one of the best side chest in the world, man. Honestly. Like the most muscular as well. Front double. Front lat spread as well. You know, those two back boys are going to hurt him a lot, but... I don't know, I'm not saying he's gonna play top 6, but, you know, top 8, that's possible. Like, I had him in my top 10 before Nick dropped out, now he's 9th in my prediction, but, you know, I think he can also be higher, like 8th, 7th, I don't know about 6th, I mean, in that top 5, you're gonna have probably Brandon Curry, you know, maybe Martin Fitzwater, but as far as Rafael Brandau... And I don't know, maybe maybe Akim can actually beat Martin, or, or even Brandon, if Brandon is off. But as you can see right here, Akim is definitely coming ready. He's definitely coming shredded. That's for sure. And then there is this guy here as well, John Jewett. John Jewett is nailing this peak, I'm sure about that. I don't know about all the other guys, John was very transparent with his physique updates, and we know that he has figured out all the signs of peaking for the show, and I think he's looking perfect for two days out. He looks big and full and, and lean and dry. I mean, he's probably gonna get even a little bit better tomorrow for the stage, but even if he doesn't, if he, just, he doesn't need to, really. Like He should just show up looking like this, you know, with this, with this size that he added, with this dryness and details and crazy granity grainy look, man, I mean, I didn't have him in my top 10, and now with uh, Nick Walker out, I would definitely put uh, William Bonac in that uh, top 10, but I don't know, I mean, uh, John is looking really good, really lean, really ready, really thick as well, but again, in order for him to place inside of the top 10, he needs to beat... William Bonek or Akim Williams. Is that a possibility? I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure what you guys think, but I think he's going to be battling with uh, Mohamed Fuda for that 11th. I think that's pretty realistic. But if William Bonek shows up off, we don't know what he looks like. If he shows up a little bit watery or something like that, which again is most likely not going to happen, but if it happens then anybody who makes a mistake can be can be taken out by this guy by john jewett and this is his first open olympia is it possible for him to crack the top 10 whatever you guys think tell me down below and tell me what you think about what andrew jack is bringing and what do you think about derek being so flat and why is he posting so many jesus stories uh, right now 
<laughs> just joking about that one once again thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for more a lot more mr olympia videos as soon as the show starts i'm gonna have a bunch of videos right here on this channel so guys once again subscribe thank you so much for watching see you soon all the best and bye bye